Thank you for joining us. My name is Alonzo Agono. This article discusses the concept of estate planning, the applicable methods and techniques, and some of the salient points to note while selecting an estate planning method. Estate planning is an intentional act and process to ensure an effective administration of a person's asset during and after the lifetime or in the event of incapacitation. The concept goes beyond administration and management of assets or pandemics to certain of mechanisms that ensure their continuous growth. There are conventional techniques and modern techniques of estate planning. Under the conventional technique, we have the customary practice in which the tradition and culture of the deceased dictates the manner by which assets are shared. The use of will, which is a legal document, stipulates how a person's assets should be distributed upon his demise, and the deed of gift, which is an estate planning tool, where a donor voluntarily transfers legal ownership and rights over to another person called the donor without receiving any consideration in return. Considering that family structures and assets are constantly evolving and becoming more complex, the modern techniques of estate planning provides more sophisticated methods to cater for these complex structures. One of the modern techniques include the private trust, which entails the creation of a fiduciary relationship where the estate owner transfers his property to a trust, which will be managed by the trustee for, for the beneficiaries. Other modern techniques include setting up a foundation and the use of power of attorney. While considering an applicable estate planning method, it is important to know the following. One, clearly setting out goals and objectives. For example, some estate owners would like their wealth to grow and sustain their family generation over a long period of time. Others prefer to pass their estate to non-family members under a charitable cause. Two, the nature of the asset, as it will determine the technique to be used. For example, it will be ineffective to adopt the conventional estate planning method for a sophisticated asset such as intangible properties. 3. One is to consider an estate planning method whose benefits outweighs the financial and cost implication. In conclusion, estate planning is essential to ensure that one has a say on what happens to one's assets upon demise, as inadequate estate planning could have their consequences. To read more on our articles, please visit our website and subscribe using the button below. Thank you.